Okay, the last thing I want you to practice for this week is um, playing single notes and changing the note on one string. Okay, so we're going to play a very simple melody, a very simple series of notes on one string. So here's how you do that. All we're going to be doing is playing that melody. Oh, I had a duck in there. Okay, and so what I want you to do is get really good at playing that, and, and in order to do that, you have to be pressing the strings correctly, making sure that you're not muting, making sure that there are no ducks, and so forth. So here's how you do it. So to play a single note is the same as playing a chord, just one note at a time. So you take your finger, first thing is with your right hand, you just play the one string. Get used to playing one string at a time. Da, 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 da. I showed this to Aaron too. Da, 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 da. And then once you're really good at that string, da, 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 da. That's the thing that you need to practice with your right hand. And if you want, you can play along with me. I'm going to do uh, five of each. One, two, three, four, five. So just pay attention to that right hand there. Once you can do that, then we're just going to do this on the very top D string. You take your left hand and you press behind those frets just like you would for a chord. Press behind the second fret. Okay, now if you're not pressing hard enough, you're going to hear duck. You want not. So with your index finger behind the second fret and then with your middle finger behind the third fret. No ducks. Always on the same string. See my right hand? Always on the same string. So you don't have to do it that fast. What you're trying to do is just get to the point where you can play those notes without any ducks coming in and quacking. Which means hitting the same string with your right hand every single time and um, pressing the strings in the right spot every time with your left hand. Always using your index finger behind the second fret and your middle finger behind the third fret. That's how we're playing this melody. If you want to try it on the other strings, you can do that. Um, if you do the same exact pattern, it's going to sound like this. And that's fine. Try it on all the strings if you want. But you can do it very slowly at first. And so that's what we're practicing for this week, in addition to the chords and the tuning and all the rest, is playing those single notes so that you can hear the note and you don't hear a whack somewhere in the middle of there. Okay? <laughs>